This is a virtual tour of the Ohio Caverns. Before we begin the tour, let's have a brief history over the Ohio Caverns. The Ohio Caverns had no natural entrance and was unknown until 1897. At that time, a 17-year-old farm worker named Robert Knopfsinger wandered about the rapid disappearance of uh, water in a low spot of the field. He had to dig down only a few feet until he found a crevice which led into the caverns. This part of the caverns was open to the public the same year. In 1922, more passageways were opened, electrical lights were installed, and guide tours started. In 1925, after the discovery and development of the, of the more beautiful part of the caverns, the original section was closed. How caverns are formed. Most caverns are formed at or just below the water table in the zone of saturation in the limestone. If the water table is stable, large openings can be created because water could contact all surfaces of the cave, dissolving the limestone at a large scale. If the water table drops, the area of active cave formation will move lower into the bedrock. The upper openings are left in the zone of aeration, only subject to dissolution from running water. After the limestone is eaten away, calcite is left over. Cave features. Speleothems, cave deposits, are collectively called speleothems and include stalactites, stalagmites, columns, and flowstone. Speleothems are most often formed in dry cave passages by dripping water. Dripstone is the name given to speleothems formed by dripping water and includes stalactites, stalagmites, and columns. A stalactite is a formation that hangs like an icicle from the ceiling of a cave and forms as water drips into a cave from above. A stalagmite is a formation that rises from the cave floor like a small hill and forms as dripping water hits the floor of the cave. Where a stalactite and a stalagmite come together, a column, a continuous formation from floor to ceiling, is formed. Flowstone is the name given to speleothems that form from precipitation of carbonate from thin sheets of flowing water. These formations often have a curtain-like appearance. Bats are the only animals found in the Ohio caverns. Bats come out at night to eat insects and hide during the day for protection. We predict that over time, the slightly acidic water will continue to flow, causing the limestone cave to change, and more cave features such as stalactites, stalagmites, and columns will be formed. This concludes our virtual tour of the Ohio Caverns Cave. We hope we educated you on how caves are formed and other cave facts. Thank you for watching this video.